Welcome to The Peaceful Home. I'm so glad you're joining me today. I am going to make a recipe that we call churro waffles, and they are delicious. They are not something you'd wanna eat every day. There's quite a bit of sugar in them, but they are delicious and they're a fun treat for the holidays. If you don't already have a tradition in your home for decorating the tree and maybe having a hot cocoa and a treat, this would be a great one to use for that. Or when you're sitting around reading Christmas stories, it would even be great as a birthday treat. If you're new here, I'm Teresa Elling. I'm a professional organizer, parenting coach, and homeschool mom of six graduated kids. And I love Christmas traditions. If you saw my video on preparing for a stress-free Christmas, I will link that below. I mentioned the importance of making sure that your traditions are things that your family enjoys and not to continue doing things that your family doesn't really care about. So for me, churro waffles might not be very traditional for Christmas, but I love them and I think that they're a great addition to our traditions. If you are a regular viewer, you know that I normally post Friday mornings and often on Tuesdays with family content and Christmas is just a little bit crazy right now. So as I'm going through, as I'm completing projects and decorating, I'm posting videos. So you might find them any day of the week, three of them together, nothing for a week. My goal is to decorate and be ready for Christmas and have all my videos in the next couple of weeks and then take two weeks off to spend with my family, especially my husband who, um, one of his jobs is a school teacher and he will be off. So I'm really looking forward to that time with him. You can use any waffle recipe for this. I use a really basic one that I'm going to walk through. It begins with two cups of flour and a dash of sugar if you'd like your batter to be just a little bit sweeter, a tablespoon of baking powder, and then give that a light whisk. Make a well in the center, and to that you're going to add two eggs, one and three quarters cup of milk, I'm going to be using almond milk, but you can use any milk you'd like. One half cup of oil, again, oil of your choice, and a half teaspoon of vanilla. The vanilla is optional, but I love the flavor that it adds. I'm gonna change camera angles so you can see what I'm doing, and we'll get right to this recipe. So two cups of flour. Remember, you don't pack down flour ever. It goes loosely, scrape off the top. If you want to do just a bit of sugar, you can, just to add a little sweetness to the batter. You can also add salt, but I usually don't. And then, tablespoon of baking powder and then usually I will just use a whisk or a fork just to kind of blend the baking powder in just a bit and make a little bit of a well and you can drop your eggs in Two eggs, one and three quarters cup of milk, and I'm using almond milk, and one half cup of oil. I'm just using a vegetable oil. You could use whatever you'd like. And I really like to use my mix mixer because it's just as fast to wash these as it is a whisk. So this is really quick. I'm also going to add about a teaspoon of vanilla. I really like to let this batter sit just for a few minutes. It tends to thicken up a bit. Um, 
Obviously, if you feel your batter is too thick, you can add a little more milk. If it's too thin, you can add a little more flour. I have this really simple two waffle waffle maker that I've had for years. And I think it was like $10 at Walmart, but it does the trick just fine. I don't love to use this spray, but it really is the best thing for our waffle makers. And it's not like we're making a healthy meal here. <laughs> so a little spray there. And then filling both sides. I can't ever quite seem to get the knack of how much. I probably should measure at some point. I always eyeball it and it seems like it's never quite right. Like it's not quite to the corner so I add a tad more and then sometimes I have a leakage out the sides or if I'm short I have a waffle that doesn't have a corner. We'll give this a try. While this is going I'm going to get ready for the rest of our churro waffle. I've melted some butter on a plate. I found the plates work best, or maybe if you have a very shallow bowl. And then we're going to make our cinnamon sugar mixture. Can you hear that? The waffles are sizzling. I never measure for the butter and sugar cinnamon. I just kind of eyeball it. And then if I'm running low, I'll make a little more to finish the waffles off. But some sugar, I don't measure the cinnamon either. I don't know, it's maybe a teaspoon or so. And I just use a fork, kind of mix it together. This um, is something that your kids could do. I'm waiting for that to turn green. That lets me know that the waffles are ready. And as soon as they are, I cut them into strips and then dunk them in the butter and the cinnamon sugar. And the strips kind of give a churro feel a little bit. And you can decide how lightly or how heavily you would like to coat them. And they are best eaten right away. We usually just make a batch and we might eat them for dessert. We don't really eat this for breakfast. It's a pretty sweet breakfast. Green. These actually still look a little pale to me. So you can decide if you wanna just I think I'm gonna let them go a little bit longer, like a little browner. That's a little better. Put another batch, get those going. And then what I'll do with these is I just cut them like in three sections like that. And then we dunk in the butter. This is the fun part. And the cinnamon sugar. And if you want to, you can kind of sprinkle it in the squares just to make sure you get it in there. And repeat. I usually just grab them with my fingers, but if you're having your children help, have them use a wooden utensil to prop it up. My butter and cinnamon sugar were just about right. I used almost all of it up and didn't have any leftover, but look at my batter. And then I realized that normally for the size of family that we have now, I usually have the waffle recipe. So keep that in mind. Um, I was able to make four waffles, which would make 12 churro waffles uh, with half the amount of batter. I decided to make myself a cup of tea and I'm going to sit down and enjoy these. Aren't they beautiful? They're so tasty. I hope you will try them with your kids or your grandkids. They're so much fun to make and you should have all the ingredients right in your pantry. This is in no way a sponsored ad, but if you have never tried Trader Joe's Candy Cane Lane, oh, that's so funny.
I just realized we always say candy cane lane. It's just candy cane. I don't know, my kids are gonna be shocked. Um, candy cane green tea. It is so good from Trader Joe's. Um, our closest Trader Joe's is over an hour away. And so when I am able to go there, I try to get some. My mom brought me this at Christmas, at Thanksgiving, but um, we stock up because it's a seasonal item and they don't always have it. But if you've never tried it, it's so, so good. But today I'm actually just having my black English breakfast tea because it is morning and I am eating these for breakfast. Um, they are just so good. They kind of soften up a little bit and they are often crispy on the outside and kind of chewy on the inside. Mm. Yeah, you've got to try these. They're so, so good. Merry Christmas, everyone. Thanks for joining me on The Peaceful Home.